so the animals don't escape. Mm. But the animals that can climb trees, mm. what's stopping them from climbing a tree? Bouncing to another tree, bouncing to another tree, bouncing to another tree, and getting out. Bet you nobody's ever thought about that. This is Fujifilm's XF150 to 600. Now, obviously, if you want to go to a safari, you probably need something like this. Now, I can't afford to go to Africa, so I went to the next best thing, Toronto Zoo. So we're all here together today. Well, Anthony and Rich, we all have super telephoto lenses and we have a small challenge made by Anthony himself today to shoot at the zoo. He's right there. It's true. Spider-Man meme. So I gave these guys a little bit of a challenge because I thought it'd be fun. We're doing vlogception right now. Paha's also filming. But there are seven photos that each of us needs to capture. They're not specific, but they're open to creative interpretation. Should we you read? You got this? Yeah, should we read this? Well, I put it on the screen, so you don't need to read it. Oh, all right, it's right there. I'm gonna point here. <laughs> That's a big lens you got there. This one? Oh, there. Oh, this one. Oh, there. Yo, look how big this eagle is. Buddy, look here. Is that a tiger? I think so. Or is that just a little? Coming here to the Toronto Zoo is a great chance for me to use this lens to test out what it can do. The thing is, when you want to shoot at a zoo, the problem is there's a lot of enclosures and it's really hard to focus on your subject. There is a button that says full and then five meters to infinity. And if you switch it to five meters to infinity, this means that the lens will not focus on anything less than five meters. And this is perfect if you're shooting subjects far away. Another great feature of this lens is having the set button right here. You can switch your camera into manual focus and then hit the set button when you have your focus nailed. And this means if you turn off your camera off and then back on again, or if you switch to any other manual focus length and then you hit one of these custom buttons right here on the lens it automatically goes back to that focus meaning you can nail your subject that is still at the same position we all we all missed the snow leopard except no will, will got it will got it me. i got it because i'm got prepared it. i need to mention this though one of the problems of shooting as well is i am using an older xt4 model that uses the older processor and doesn't have all the AI autofocus features. If I was using my X-H2S, then I can just switch it into animal autofocus and then it would just detect all the animals. The problem is I'm using an X-T4, which is an that older is model. Yep, it is guy, a problem. This guy thinks he's sick because he shoots Fuji. Those, those mountain goats right there, right there in the back. See what they should do is study their feet and make shoes out of those feet. Then you can walk up 90 degree hills. Okay, so one of the hardest things when shooting with this lens for me is right now probably getting my settings right. It's such a massive lens that switching the settings hasn't been as easy as I thought. So what I'm doing right now is I have switched to shutter priority and I'm shooting at around 1 over 500 or 1 over 400. And basically my ISO is auto and my f-stop is auto as well. I'll just let the camera do all the heavy lifting and I'll just have to focus on taking the photos. <laughs> With his things out, looking nice and pretty. He's trying to raise us up. Okay, so shooting with this lens has not been the easiest thing ever. It's very hard to be stable. It's very hard to nail focus. It's just a very difficult lens to use. So for example, shooting that snake right there that I just showed you, it's super hard for me to nail focus, especially when I'm very close Hello, to the glass. That's because obviously the minimum focusing distance is not the same as any other lens that you can get. We're uh, 
exciting to see the wolves. I think they're like Arctic wolves or something. But uh, we gotta keep checking shots off our checklist. Okay, I genuinely think this is one of the coolest things I've seen so far and the photos look sick. Also, I have switched the continuous high, just shooting in burst just because the animals, they move so much. So what's your verdict so far on your lens? On the super telephoto? Yeah. Um, convenient for wildlife. Nice for solar eclipses, if, if you could shoot them, we can't. And motorsports, motorsports. But a little bit too big otherwise. I don't know if I, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it, to be honest. But it's a big chunk, that's for sure. One thing that I genuinely find super difficult with this lens, other than focusing and being stable, is probably the weight. This is a really, really heavy lens. And it's kind of hard to walk around the whole day maybe with this in your backpack. Obviously it's, it's not made for everyone. People who do wildlife, people who do sports, action sports, I don't know, shooting the moon alignments. This is definitely for you. Probably not for me. Yo, I, think, I think we lost the, uh, I think we lost. Anthony, Will, and Rich. Yeah, getting lost at the zoo is not on my bingo card. We're lost. We, we, uh, we lost. We lost everyone. We found them. We found them. They're right there after spinning for like, well, five minutes. But we found them. You trying to steal my B-roll, sir? Hey, I, I started filming. If we go back time code, you'll see that I click record first. But I was filming and you ended up in my video. What yeah, is this guy doing? This I, guy's trying to steal it too. I'm just recording you guys. Oh my gosh. You never use a you never use a lens hood before. I hardly use one. I'm shooting baboons today. Jack baboon right there. In the challenge, one of them was get a social interaction between two animals. I think we just got it. Which one? The ones behind us? Oh yeah. Did you show them yet? I'll show right. them right now. What do you think of this, uh, this uh, lion? They're sick. They're freaking sick. That's one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Taha is going on an African safari going on African safari. I think it's time we all take a trip to Africa. Tanzania. We're going to Tanzania. If you're just using the LCD screen, you will notice a lot of shake because you are using a longer focal length. So every small micro movement is gonna cause a lot of jittering. Uh, I would recommend using the viewfinder if you have one, of course, because you can then use your face to, you know, get some more stability. I also would recommend if your camera 
or modern cameras, they have new AI detection features. It would be a good idea to use that feature if you have it, because if you have it, might as well use it. So after four hours of shooting with the Super Telephoto by Fujifilm, the XF 150-600 f 5.6, the f8, there's a lot of things that I've just learned and here's the breakdown of it. This lens is massive. It is a big lens, it is heavy, it is not easy to carry around, it's pretty hard to handle, but let me preface this by saying I am not a wildlife photographer, I am not a person who shoots wildlife, I'm not in Africa on safaris. From what I have tested so far, this is a super super sharp lens and having a focal length and a focal range from 150 all the way to 600 on a crop sensor, which is almost equivalent to like 900, is absolutely insane knowing that the minimum f-stop is 5.6. The engineering that went into building this lens, the photos look super sharp. It is built like an absolute tank. You have four to five custom buttons. You have, you're setting your manual focus. You have switching from full range of focus to five meters to infinity. If you are a person who does alignments, who shoots action sports, who does photography for sports such as soccer or football or basketball, if you're a person who also goes on safaris, who shoots animals, birds, this is absolutely the lens that you have to get. If you want something a bit lighter, I would go with the 70 to 300. That is also one of the best options that you can get. But if you are a person who specializes in shooting animals, wildlife, sports, alignments, eclipses, this is the lens to get. I've had so much fun shooting with this lens today. It was such a different experience and such a challenge, but that's what it's about, putting yourself in uncomfortable situations. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys liked the photos. It was a fun day. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Good day at the zoo. What is the final verdict? I'm selling my 800 millimeter. <laughs> his lens isn't even his, and mine's not even mine. So, fun lens, just a uh, big, big lens. I mean, I got a sick shot of a, a baboon, so. Imagine getting that horn up your <laughs> <laughs> That's going in the video.